Hello there, everybody! This is NoName117Spore, and today I am actually back with some Rule of Waves 2! Uh, back with the campaign is Italy, and it is something I briefly need to check. And just make sure that none of my, uh... Okay, I'm good. Actually, I should probably have this up here. Hello, display capture make things look better. There we go. It's all fixed now. Uh, yes. Uh, today I am back with Rule the Waves 2 as, um, uh, Italy, where we are currently in a, uh, almost 40 month long war with Britain and currently cannot afford our, uh, ship maintenance. If I recall, on the last, uh, on the last turn I did, last month, we managed to sink a bunch of British carriers. Um, something like seven of them for, like, zero losses of our own. Uh, Britain right now is currently going... They're working on a lot of subs. Russia's building some subs. Uh, they do have some carriers, they do have some battleships. So I do have to be wary of, uh, Russia deciding to come down into the Mediterranean. I kind of don't want to face that thing. These are prob... Actually, that, that one's probably a little difficult to... It's not letting me click on this one, so I assume it's in Revit. Uh, these other two... This one's might be a little tricky. It does only have an 11-inch belt. Um... Uh... Why is this one... 10,000 tons heavier than this one... For the same speed... In the belt armor? And more guns and triples. Like, yeah, no, that's that's tricky to figure out. There's something weird going on there. I'm not sure we're really getting. Yeah, it's seven. It, what? How many years later? Eight years later. I'm not sure where they're getting all that extra tonnage from, or what it's going into. Maybe this one's like short range or something, or cramped accommodations and can't come down. Maybe we could only maybe we could only face that one. They do have their carriers though, and that those could be a threat. But British carriers, unfortunately, Britain has been building carriers during this war. So they have an old carrier, Argus. This is the only surviving carrier of their old carriers. That's fine. They have built Africa, New Zealand, and Courageous during the course of the war. They have not sent these ships down into the Mediterranean yet, at least as of late. The latest CV we've sunk was a pre-war one in Eagle. So, these newer ships could show up at any time, and we will have to sink them. Uh, the problem is, if the entire British carrier force shows up, our current carrier force is not enough to fight them. Well, it's enough to fight them, but it's, it's going to be even. It'll be an even fight. If I look at the air groups on these guys. We are currently running all fighters, and I think I'm going to continue running that until these additional carriers are dead. Now... I don't like this monthly balance, but currently Britain does not have a large battleship or battle cruiser. The largest ships they have are CAs. Russia does, but not too many. I do not believe at the present moment that I need Amerigo Vespucci or Dante Alighieri on a station, because these ships are slow. Let's just put it that way. I, I need Andrea Doria. I need uh, Vittorio Emmanuel. Um, I need Garibaldi. I need San Giorgio. I need Elba. Well, I need Elba. I need San Giorgio. I need the Andrea Dorias. I'm not... Garibaldi is an optional choice. And the Lepantos are probably good for bulking out the fleet. But not doing too much else. I think I'm moving Vespucci to the reserve fleet. And that should save me enough money to get through the next turn. We're also going to have some of these ships complete, so we should be okay. Unless I want to... You know, she's going to hold me back. At 23 knots, she's going to just hold me back. I want to move fast, if anything. Units which move fast are going to be better. Okay, I think that's what I want. Gotta try to get an invasion of Malta soon. Okay, I'm going to accept this battle, but if we don't have air cover, 
Uh, and we lose cruisers because of it, or we lose large ships because of it. I will save scum. Oh, they decline. Enemy calls for great. I'll accept that. Um, tank enemy ships in general. Okay, so we have a target up here. We're not sure what it is. This might be a coastal vessel of our... Oh, it's a coastal vessel of ours. Hello there, TR Merchant 36. Okay, that's an ally. Alright, so we are using the battlecruiser San Giorgio. Uh, weather does limit air operations, but in case it doesn't, I am going to request land base cap. British are probably going to be trying to raid us with uh, heavy cruisers, I'm imagining. Unfortunately, we don't have any scouting. Roll the waves, little pizza. Yeah. We don't have any scouting capabilities. Oh, there we go. Unknown radar contact. That's the enemy force over there. They've snuck in. Now, one issue is our current sighting range is very bad. They're shooting at us, whatever it is. That's already shooting. Because they have beyond the horizon fire. I'm going to normal game speed. So we can't hit them yet. Okay, now we can actually see a couple of them. We've hit a ship with a four inch gun. We took a three inch medium shell hit. Oh, five inch medium shell hit, sorry. Uh, didn't do much. Five inch shell, what's it gonna do? All right, so we got two targets identified, crap. Why is the weather so bad? All right, pull San Giorgio over to the side. Now turn her back in. We need to be careful. And we need to be extra careful here. Because some of these guys are destroyers. That ship turned around probably to launch torpedoes at me, which is why I'm doing this little swerve. We took a bridge destroyed hit from a 10 inch shell. So what's going on right now is that the enemy is shooting us because we can't detect them because we don't have blind fire capability and they do. Which has got to be one of the most annoying things ever. We can only move 28 knots now. We can't shoot them. We can't get within range because their destroyers are doing an excellent job of ensuring that. I'm going to deploy my destroyers in a forward screen. I'm actually going to deploy my CLs in a forward screen too. Try to take manual control over them. Okay. A little bit of dodging. One oh, no, ship fires three heavy guns. What the hell hit us? That's a ten inch. Okay, that's a, that's still a medium. We still can't see these guys, and that's the problem. If we could see these guys, this would be very possible. But we can't spot them because the weather's so poor. There we go. Unidentified ship hit with a 17-inch shell. I don't know. That's probably a destroyer. Or a... Cr is that a CL? It's cr currently IDing it as a CL. Could be a destroyer. Oh, sea state limit ship speed to what? 20 knots by weather. This is a little stupid. That's why none of our ships are keeping up. Okay, that is a destroyer. That was a destroyer we apparently hit with a 17 inch shell and have done light damage to. I do see that we have destroyed one of its torpedo suits. Okay, now we're saying heavy damage. So currently the good news is we're behind them. If they start turning into us, we are going to have to dodge. Because that means torpedoes are on the way. And we don't want a lot of torpedo hits. But, currently, 
they don't have a torpedo solution on us. And that Gary is heavily damaged and on fire. Yeah, how's it going? Uh, okay, I'm trying to sink the British Navy. Unfortunately, they have blind fire capabilities and I don't. Fortunately, this is a CA. This is a 64,000 ton battlecruiser. So, hopefully we can win this. Because Britain doesn't actually have any uh, battleships or battlecruisers left at this point. So, in that regard, we're doing pretty well. The only issue is, you know, this weather's horrible. Okay, that's the cruiser. Hmm. I have a decision I need to make at this point. I could turn San Giorgio this way and or more this way and try to hit this cruiser or get within sight lane get sight on the cruiser and you know bomb it or shoot it and sink it the issue is this destroyer pack right here is going to be offered much better torpedo shots on me if I try to do this So, I could either do that, or I could continue chasing the Gary uh, class destroyer right here, the heavily damaged on fire one, which will probably go down. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna let my destroyers kind of remain... Or let my destroyers and cruisers kind of remain on that course. Now, one thing I'm certain of is that Gary is probably not going to be able to torpedo me. Her aft torpedo tubes are destroyed. Uh, she might have one set of torpedo tubes still active, but I'm, I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical that she has enough. Hopefully she's blocking the line of fire for these ships here. Okay, now we are targeting the proper ship. You know what, I'm going to do a turn this way. Okay, so the Gary class is on fire, heavily damaged, possibly sinking. She's sinking yet? No, she's not. Hold on. Britain has missiles. Advice from the guy that's been eating the, all the fish lately. <laughs> okay, so the Gary's not sunk yet, but she's getting close. We got our cruisers coming in. And we got our destroyers coming in. Uh, so they will finish off the Gary. And what I'm going to do with the San Giorgio is... Swerve her. That didn't work. However, our speed is still limited to 20... Or to 20 knots. So losing 2 knots of speed is not bad. I am fine with that result. That was probably the Gary. Okay. I'm going to continue the turn this way. Nope, that's much worse. This is exactly what I was concerned about. Okay, we are turning back around. No, we're turning this way. And we're going to charge the destroyers and cruisers through. Okay. San Giorgio will turn all the way around. Since they did... Manage uh, two torpedo hits on her. Okay, we need to work through the destroyer screen if we if we want any chance of catching this cruiser. All right, that was definitely two torpedo salvos, two, one from the Gary and uh, one presumably from another ship. Okay, cruisers vanished. This weather's hell. Good thing is, San Giorgio can still make uh, full speed. Okay, actually, she probably can't make full speed in this weather. That's her speed limiter to 18 knots. She can make. She can still make full speed. This ship's pretty much undamaged. She can only make 18 knots. How horrible is this storm? Okay, so this guy's dead. We're shooting up, shooting up the destroyer screen here. If we can destroy this destroyer screen, we can punch through. And that's my current thought process. We gotta hit the destroyer screen. Oh, 
Okay. That ship's coming around. Full San Giorgio this way. Hey, uh, Cashew. We are currently dealing with a uh, horrible battle. Alright, that this is a CA. Britain doesn't have any battleships anymore, and it's been shooting me with 10-inch guns. It is 100% a heavy cruiser. I will guarantee you that. How fast are you currently moving? Yeah, you're still limited to 8. You're still limited to 18 knots. Although, did you take... Oh, you did take a hit disabling your machinery. You guys are limited to 17 knots by weather. Uh, we are pushing it towards Syracuse, though, so it's not going to be able to run. Uh, I'll take Les Spaza and going to move her down this way. Okay. Okay, so this destroyer... I'll detach her, sure. Is it getting shot up? Uh, I'll pull you back. I will change your direction this way. Good hit! Good hit! Good hit! We confirmed a hit on an enemy destroyer. Okay. What we've done here is extremely good, because now we've pushed their destroyer escort away from the heavy cruiser, and we have confirmed two destroyer kills. Currently, this heavy cruiser is heading in the direction of our port, which means that uh, San Giorgio can run it down. And, uh... If she's in bad danger of flooding, she can try to escape. For whatever reason... Oh, there's two ships here. Is there, are there two ships here? Oh, no, it's... It's bouncing up against the border. It's hit the border around Syracuse. It can't go in. Good job. Roll the waves too, AI. Alright. She's got us broadside on. Hold on, I need to check something. Okay, so we're facing one of these ships. If it's Monmouth... If, it, if it's... No, yeah, if it's Monmouth... Or Monmouth or whatever, it does. that one does have torpedoes. If it is a Cressy class, it does not have torpedoes. How concerned do I have to be that it's currently broadside to me? You know what? Say it turned into it. It can only hit us with one. What if I ship hit? Alright. Fuck! I called that one so badly. Alright, so... It's gonna have a perfect torpedo shot here. How do we screw it up? I think we turn this way. Okay, so now it would be trying to launch torpedoes. Turn back around this way. We're good. We're clear. We're in the clear. I don't know how it didn't... Sh I, I don't know how it didn't kill us there. Uh, <laughs> that has to be the most panic... Or some of the most panicked I've ever been, being at point-blank range to an enemy cruiser with torpedoes. Okay. You turn this way. Yes, I will detach her. Uh, you keep turning. You turn in. And I gotta make sure that, uh, none of these ships go outside of, uh, sight range. Okay, good hope. Heavy damage. On fire. Their destroyers are coming back around. Uh, pull into it this way. I am shocked all of you missed so badly. Who's launching torpedoes? Uh, La Spesa. Good. That's really close as well. Uh, San Giorgio also has torpedoes too. Good, good hit, good hit, good hit. I will gladly take that. We got one from uh, Acre B here. Oh my god, look at those torpedoes. Those came really close to hitting one of our destroyers. 
Okay. So we gotta continue shooting it. We gotta make sure it... We gotta make sure it sinks, but we gotta be exceptionally careful, because our battlecruiser is damaged and probably cannot take many more torpedo hits. Okay, how many torpedoes do you have? Zero. How many torpedoes do you have? Zero. How many torpedoes do you guys have? Zero. And zero. Wait, no. Uh, second mounts on La Spaza are active. Uh, this one still has torpedoes. That one still has torpedoes. Okay. I need this division to come down here. You guys go up, go north, because you are out of torpedoes. But this uh, destroyer division can come down. And Giorgio, do you have torpedoes? Yes, you do. Good Hope's dead in the water. Is she sinking? She's sinking. Have all the streams from the pizza playthrough been posted on YouTube? Yes, they have. Uh, all the current ones. And we have decided what the next stream is going to be. So, I think at this point, with the CA confirmed sunk, that is enough points for me. We are retiring to Syracuse now. That's one of their destroyers running away. Yep. Alright, we're out of uh, flagship control, but we, we only need to get into port. Yes, all. Yeah, no problem. Okay, you guys, please go back into port. Just go back into Syracuse. Yeah, she sank. Alright, so that is uh, two destroyers and one heavy cruiser sunk. Definitely. Um... We also probably damaged... I'm going to predict we probably scored a hit on at least three of the destroyers. We sank two. I think we scored a hit on a third. Possibly four. Possibly all four. Um, I don't think it's going to sink. There is a possibility that we could get an additional destroyer kill out of this. If we did enough damage to it and if the weather is bad enough to prevent it from floating. Uh, Basically, if it continues to take weather damage, it will go down. Hopefully, uh, the save will become daytime uh, before the timer elapses. I don't think that'll happen. But if it does, then one of our uh, patrol boats could actually go... Or patrol boats. Uh, one of our coastal defense vessels could go out there and rescue the survivors. Oh, it will. It will. There we go. Uh... I'm hoping someone's rescuing the survivors, because they should all be in this area and be like, Oh, hey, there's a bunch of survivors here. It was probably a good idea for me to pull my ships into port, though. Yep, we won. Good win. So, we sank Monmouth. I do go through all these afterwards for all the people who are new here. Uh, just for future recording purposes. So, we were scoring 17-inch uh, hit belt penetrations there. Yeah, she was just getting hit by a lot of 17 inch shells. Some 4 or 6 inch shells here. Okay, there's the torpedo from La Spesa. And now she's getting shot up by a lot of uh, medium guns. There's the 17 inch hits, and this does her in, as well as, you know, shipping water and heavy seas, and she already has a torpedo hit, so yeah. San Giorgio, medium damage in port. Just pulled her back. Okay, so we were initially taking 10-inch hits, so one of these was a... F okay, one of these was a 5-inch hit to the deck extender, not bad. That was from Monmouth. I thought that was from a destroyer, but nope. Next one was a 10-inch uh, superstructure hit. Didn't do much. Disabled Radar got disabled. Oh, bridge destroyed. Yeah, that was a bad hit. This was a bad hit, because it slowed her down. Um, this penetrated, but it's not a terrible hit. Uh, a couple 5-inch hits, 10-inch near miss. Okay, so torpedo from Test and then a torpedo from Blackwater. So I was right in that those were two sets of torpedoes launched. Um, there's 10-inch hits. I probably should have kept turning the other way, and I would have been more okay. Okay, so Blackwater, we sink. Yeah. So this, this was the one we were shooting up. So, this destroyer, despite being very heavily damaged... Well, actually, here's what it looks like it... Okay. Hmm, this is weird. One of these is destroyed with zero, one of these is destroyed with three. I'm wondering 
if we destroyed one with which had already either fired or had um or like it became zero because it got destroyed but this one should become zero because it got destroyed then uh it might have fired one torpedo at us like it might have been sinking but i think sinking destroyers are allowed to fire one torpedo or sinking ships are allowed to fire one torpedo and going down so that might have been what happened or it might have fired a full salvo because it wasn't technically sinking yet uh destroyer rother was the other one we sunk so it was taking some a uh, small amount of five inches it's launched a lot of torpedoes at us um i guess we d did dodge a lot of torpedoes technically uh so it took the torpedo from uh, Acre B and sunk, or sank. Oh, cool. Sunk by coastal forces. This uh, Gary class. Okay, so Gary, I don't think, scored a hit. She was shot up a bit, but survived. And then Test was also shot up a little bit and survived. So yeah, there's her launches at 1646 and 1647. So one of those landed. One of those landed home. Other than that, we got some 5, 4-inch, and 6-inch shells. Then we have a bunch of lightly damaged ships. I will just real quickly show this. Oh yeah, critical hit, salt water, and speed tanks. That was not fun. Just for uh, future recording sake, I will quickly flip through all of these so that we can see all of their logs and all of the damage they took. I assume nothing else got hit, so... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Did we rescue any survivors? No, we didn't. Poor, uh, poor sailors on Monmouth. Hopefully they can swim, or hopefully they can either swim or uh, paddle ashore, because Syracuse isn't that far. Maybe they'll strike a mine in the little rowboat. <laughs> Alright. That is a victory. Britain is not happy. We lose a Corvette. We have a fuel shortage, unfortunately. I need that Corvette on trade protection. These are fleet destroyers. I'm getting into service, so I should probably leave them there. Research vibes are back up to 12%. I need to resume these additional destroyers here. These are Dardo class. Uh, let's see, Britain's situation. Uh, currently the same. Russia is... Okay, they've gotten their battleship back. It's not great. I don't think I want Dante in frontline service right now. And that gives me a lot of additional funding to play with. And what we and how we need to play with this funding is countering the British submarine spam. Um Okay, so Britain has moved more forces down here. I don't like the fuel shortage. Okay, so we're building a bunch of 300 ton corvettes. We also have these 600 tonners which we're working on. Uh Build ship. Come on. We mo we've mostly recovered our destroyer group, our destroyer groups now. I think I want to work on the more. Do I want to work on the more? Uh, okay, those are mine sweeping corvettes. That's a little different. These are kind of more sub hunters. Hmm. How do I want to handle this? Okay, uh, let's open this design. What if we did a 600 tonner without the mine sweeping gear? I mean, to be fair, a lot of the stuff has been hitting mines. We can only get the increased depth charge storage, so it doesn't matter. Um, so I will lay down four more Eugenias, as well as four more of those guys. And then next turn, I'll, uh... Next, next month, I will try to... What am I trying to say? Next month, we should complete some stuff, so I'll uh, probably put that into getting more aircraft squadrons and flying boat squadrons. Small engagement. I'm gonna accept... No, I'm... I'm gonna accept... Yeah, they decline. Good. I'm allowing myself to save scum on a, on those Egyptian battles if I don't get air cover. Or, you know, aircraft become unnecessary. Nice!
We took Egypt! We have the Suez! We can now drive an Italian battleship or battlecruiser through the Suez Canal and probably get it stuck! <laughs> you have forgiven. Uh, who, who owned that one again? Because uh, we shouldn't let him through. We're calling those shots now. Why are we? Why have we not invaded Malta yet? Probably because all the fuel shortages. All right, but anyway, we have Egypt. <laughs> oh, rest in peace, Britain. Rest in pieces. All right, I'm gonna go high spying on Russia just to make sure, and. Out of Egypt. Okay, let's see. Where are my air groups currently? Because I probably want to move them around. I probably don't want any in, like, Le Mosul anymore. No, Le Mosul has a full air group. We're probably going to be focusing more over here now. Hold on, hold on. How many, ship how many of my ships have short range? Practically all of my capital ships. It doesn't help. Hoping to be able to get stuff into the Indian Ocean to uh, help out over there. Britain doesn't have much over there. It would be good to take like your men or something, but we're still trying to invade Malta, and for whatever reason, we still haven't succeeded. Probably because of fuel shortages uh, prohibiting invasions. It would also be nice to take Gibraltar. Um, you know, really just turn this into an Italian colony. But yeah, grabbing Egypt, that's fun. All right, go to trade protection. All right, air groups. Uh, we we do need to mess with these, though. So, Egypt's no longer a threat. So any air groups at Trebuk and Le Mosul can get moved. I probably do want to keep the flying boats at Le Mosul, um, but all of these guys aren't needed there anymore. It'd probably be better to move them to, say, Syracuse or something. Syracuse already does have an Air Force. Uh, what about... I'm thinking a Grin... I'm thinking here. Actually, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take these guys. I'm going to move them to a base with zero. Desert. Then I'm going to take the forces from Syracuse and move... Stop it. Move them to there, and then I'm going to take the ones I had here and put them, stop it, put them back at uh, Syracuse. That does concentrate more of our Air Force at Syracuse and here, and hopefully we can actually work that over. Other than that, um, I think I do need to look at Trebuk. Trebuk has a full group of 60 aircraft right now, including a lot of fighters. I'm thinking Mers El Kabir could use these guys. Stop it. I'm seriously, let me drag them. Thank you. That should work, correct? Yeah. Although I'm probably going to split the fighter squadrons up and uh take one Actually, I do have some at Algiers. Do I have any at Bone? No. Do I have any at Bizerte or Tunis? Not many. I'll probably take a fighter squadron in... Yeah, I'll take a fighter squadron and move it to... Uh... Actually, you know what? I will move this one back to uh, Le Mosul. That one will go to Le Mosul. We have some at Algiers. Probably do want some at, like, uh, Bone or Bone or whatever. Yeah. Uh, Lindos has a lot of fighters, though. And so does Rhodes. So we were fighting around here a lot until we captured everything. So I probably want to move aircraft out of these two locations. So I'm going to take one of the fighter squadrons here. Okay, let's see. Might be good to get one in St. Florent. 
I think I think I think I want more fighters in Saint Florent. I will keep the dive bombers and tor I don't know if I want the dive bombers and torpedo bombers here or not. I probably don't. I'm probably gonna get more fights around here and around here. What about Toronto? I think I need aircraft at Toronto. Toronto doesn't have enough. I think I'll move this group here over to Toronto. Okay. Don't think I need any at Zara. I don't. Yeah, Zara's over there. I don't think I'm going to be fighting too many battles in this area here. Um. But definitely concentrating more fighters in this area. And this area is probably smart. If I look at... I don't know, I did move a big group to Marizo. Could be here, though. A big group of uh, beetle bombers and such. So I think that's good. Um, so what I probably want to do is... I probably want to go to places like, say, Alexandria. And add a group of flying boats. Maybe uh, eight of them. Uh, we can also do that out of Port Said as well. I probably won't. Okay, so we have an air group out of Cagliari. Over there. I'm probably going to add a fighter air unit here. Of like eight aircraft. Just to give me a little bit more protection. I'm going to add... Okay, you know what? Let's activate some of these air bases. Bari, you will be active. Add air unit. Uh, I'm going to put like 12 flying boats at out of Bari. Because I, I want a lot of flying boats here. Uh, but I'm also going to add maybe a set of medium bombers. Like 8 medium bombers. And uh, 8 fighters at Bari. Because I think I could use an actual air grip at Bari. So I did that. Well, okay, so La Spesa is up there. I think I'm just going to add more flying boats to La Spesa, like 12 flying boats. I'm just going to add another group of six flying boats here at Toronto. And probably another, like, 12 flying boats over here. <laughs> just because we need flying... We need flying boats. We need patrol bombers. Um, we need them so that we can sink more subs. We need to deal with the uh, British submarine threat. So why are we getting a fuel shortage? Maybe we do need to take out Gibral our, uh, Gibraltar. It'd be nice to have some fuel or something. Uh, I assume we currently don't have access to fuel, if I look at the almanac. Uh, oil, no. Where is oil? Uh, not in Yemen. Not in Djibouti. Not in, not in Kenya. Not in Zanzibar. India. I can't take India. Uh, Kalon doesn't have any. Uh, Gibraltar doesn't have any. Malta, I assume, doesn't have any. Okay, every British territory we can take does not have oil. And I assume every... I mean, we're allied with the French, but they don't have oil, and Greece isn't going to have oil. Hmm. So we're kind of stuck without oil. Right, we are also building some subs, so let's uh, let's get some more coastals building. All right, next turn. Convoy defense against Russia near Sardinia. I'll accept. Two corvettes are commissioned into the navy. Yes, we've invaded Malta. A story is damaged. We lose a destroyer. We our flying boats have sunk a sub. Okay, you should be on trade protection. Anything here currently in the active fleet which needs to be on trade protection? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, so we have successfully invaded there. Our invasion target now is uh, Gibraltar. Gibraltar. Okay. Britain is not... Oh, Britain moved their carriers out. If we can get, like, a quick invasion on Gibraltar here, or Gibraltar, 
Gibraltar. Pronounce the G. Uh, that'll be great. That should be dominance of the Mediterranean. Convoy attack battle in support of land combat. I think that's acceptable. A decline. Convoy defense up here. Yes, it's like in our area. Oh, cruiser action up all the way over there. Uh, decline that. Cruiser action down here. I'll accept that. Mission two subs. Ooh. I don't think that the U.S. can get into the war in time. But I'm not sure I want to chance it. But I would like the additional budget. I think we have to. Alright. Okay, so new float plane scouts. This one has better speed, better range, less firepower, less maneuverability. Yeah, take it. Lose a Corvette. Okay, we have a bunch more Corvettes about to complete. Right. If I go to research, um... I probably want ASW technology on high. Maybe torpedo technology on medium. What do we have on high? Radar and electronics, I need that on high. Anti-aircraft artillery, yeah. Fleet tactics, I will put to medium. And naval guns, I will put to medium as well. Um... Any other areas I can get stuff for the light forces and torpedo warfare? Probably do want the rest of these at medium, though. Okay. So, air groups. We need... And we basically just need to be able to uh, get a bunch of flying boats out to... Give me another air group of 12 of them. Because we have so much uh, extra money, or excess money right now. And did get a couple of subs done too, so hopefully that should help. Uh, I'm going to go to prize rules with my subs. Small engagement, battle in support of land combat. I'll accept that, they decline. I'll accept that, they decline. Oh, unexpected battle, how fun. Hey, we get uh, French ships as well. So we only have light cruisers, and unfortunately, these are the incredibly cursed ones. Alright, so we're trying to defend the convoy, and I don't know what they have. The weather looks good. They're not shooting yet, which is a good sign. Nope, that's ID'd as a CA. I want, a, I want better identification on these ships before we do anything about it. Okay, third ship sighted. They're both C they're both ID to CAs though. That's very concerning. They open fire. Uh play smoke. Start turning. Near miss. That is a Molotov class. God damn it. It's gonna be nighttime soon. It's gonna be nighttime soon. Pull away. Pull away. This is Russia. Okay. Their range is far more restricted now. Or their uh, visibility range is far more restricted. We can shoot at them. And I want to kind of dodge. Okay, we're launching long-range torpedoes. My idea is I'm going to see if I can engage them at night. Which may be incredibly stupid. Oh, what? It, what is that French destroyer doing? It's turned them around. Good job. Oh, okay, so they do have escorts, unfortunately. Uh, they look like they are British destroyers. Uh, so Russia has a couple of cruisers in the region, is what this tells me. And then the British have destroyers in this region. Can they still shoot at me? One of them can. One of them can't. Russia has better radar technology than us. Oh. 
Oh, wait, no. They can't. We were briefly shot at there by an enemy destroyer. Okay. So our convoy is over here. And that's what we have to protect. Come on. Nope. I just kind of got around. Damn it. Ah, poor little French destroyer got horrendously shot up. Alright. Nice hit, nice hit, nice hit. Which ship? We got this guy with the torpedo. Spaza, shoot torpedoes. Now, I need you to do so. Alright, pull around. Okay, so we have forced the Russians back. I'm going to cancel the flotilla attack order. Okay, we have taken some damage. Unfortunately, uh, we lost a, a turret, and that's a lot of our firepower, especially given which turret that is. This is the... Okay, so this is the cruiser we damaged. This is the cruiser which is undamaged. If we can keep track of this situation and they decide to separate out, I want to go in and take out this cruiser. And we'll get in close and we will launch torpedoes. And it looks like they're going to let me. Maybe. Shit. Pull, pull away a little bit. Alright. Oh god. Did- what happened? Uh, it didn't turn. Conning tower hit. That's what did it. 10 inch conning tower hit. Okay, you know what? You need to go to Cagliari now. God damn it, I couldn't do anything there. I was trying to hold my distance. And Kona, can you do you have torpedoes? No, pull away, pull away. Wow. Oh, that was some bad luck. That was some horrible luck. Alright, so that gar carry class is down. And I assume... Please. If you can move... Move. You can't move. It feels like uh, sinking ships moved way more often in Rule the Waves 1 than they do in Rule the Waves 2. And you're now wasting all of your torpedoes on a sinking destroyer. Good fucking job. Ah, uh, they've reformed. I was hoping to get in and get ahead of it, and then we just got slightly too close, it shot us, and then... What else were we supposed to do? My current hope is to kind of force them into the coast. Kind of, kind of hold back, force them into the coast, and hope for daytime. Prevent, prevent them from getting to our uh, convoy. Our convoy will get through. But losing another light cruiser is not good. We don't have a lot of them. Uh, so I'm not happy with these results. My hope is that we can slip our convoy into Cagliari and hopefully it'll be daytime uh, soon enough. And then our... Uh... Oh god. Francesca's is sitting out of there. Hopefully it'll be daytime soon enough. No. Not do a yes to all. I will get them in when I want to. Oh, hopefully it'll be daytime soon enough, and uh, we'll be able to launch airstrikes at them. Actually, what is Encona's current state? She's not flooding. Actually, she doesn't have any torpedoes anymore, so she launched all of her torpedoes. So, actually, all of her ships made it into port. So just just go and just go into Cagliari. 
Yes, all. Yep, there we go. Scenario over. Uh, we still get a win, but it's not a great win. Uh, losing a space like that was kind of bad. So yeah, that was just... That was an unlucky conning tower hit while we were dodging, followed up by a torpedo hit which we couldn't dodge because we couldn't turn the ship, followed up by her absolutely getting fucked. We could have stayed a little bit further out of range, and we probably would have had a really good play there. But that kind of fucked us. Kalinin, we did score a lot of light hits on, only four inch hits. We did get a torpedo hit. Where's that torpedo hit? There you go, Harpon. Harp, or, okay, so we did sink Moy. So this was the one we shot up significantly. And then wasted all the torpedoes on. But we also lost two French destroyers in Harpon with multiple 5 inch shells. Oh, yeah, she blew up. And, uh, Escopete, which yeah, got blapped by uh, 10 inch shells. And Kona got out despite multiple 10 inch hits. Uh, Full Mine took a couple of hits. Those 10 inch hits? Damn it. Russian 10 inch guns are accurate. I'm curious how many 6 inch hits we actually scored now. I will take a quick look at my uh, cruisers again just to see that. Just to, just to see those figures. Alright, so Espeza, uh, you scored. You failed to score a single hit in a hunt having fired over a hundred shells. And Kona scored four. Probably all on that destroyer. My ships, everyone. Uh continue operations will secure a total victory. Improved auto loader. Awesome. St. George was damaged. Well, I'm saying that awesome, like I probably should not be cheering on the sinking of an innocent civilian ship, but everyone else likes us more now, so good job, Russia. Oh, the Inconas are obsolete. That's probably why they're having some issues. Uh, we're gonna real quickly rebuild these in a local yard. Try to get the electro-optical director on them. Can I get an autoloader? I can get an autoloader. Okay, so... Here's my thought. No. I'll get more light anti-aircraft guns. We can get dual purpose. Oh, okay, nope, we can't get dual purpose. No, the mines just take up too much uh, anti-aircraft space. I think that's good. I think that's a good rebuild. Alright, so we are going to be down a couple of light, or a couple of light cruisers here. Technically, these two are also not doing too great. They're older, though. They're way older protected cruisers. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully those rebuilds to the Inconas will really get them uh, up to scratch. I kind of want to accelerate them. See if I can get them done a little more quickly. Alright, so... Oh, Britain does have a battle cruiser in service. A little dangerous, uh, but we still we still outnumber them. Oh, sorry, I accidentally tapped my mic. Uh, they're not going to be able to do too much to us. I think I need more of these guys. I think I just need more corvettes and more corvettes and more corvettes, and I'm I actually might want some corvettes on active fleet. Uh, just to give. Good torpedo defense. Actually, the Dardos are pretty good at giving uh, anti-submarine warfare defense if they're going after our main ships. So I probably do want these guys on trade protection just just to make sure that they can't uh, do too much in that regard. 
But they are going to try to swarm us with subs, unfortunately. I'm going to probably reduce some other stuff to low. So, probably that on medium. I'm going to low. I'm going to bring that to low. I'm going to bring that to low. I'm going to bring that to medium. I'll... I'm going to bring that to low. I'll keep that on medium. We need that on high. We need these two on high. Okay. We still don't have the radar we need. Missile technology probably good on medium. These are probably good on medium. Use operations on low. I don't think we need any more naval guns. Okay, so I've shifted a lot of my I've shifted more of my research funding around. I want to try to pour more of it into those three specific fields and just try to get the technologies we are severely lacking in. Part of me wants to build more Dardo class destroyers too. Um probably do get another couple of them. We're going to get we're going to get one done here soon. Small engagement, I'll accept. They decline. Cruiser action up here. Please get parity. We're not going to get parity, are we? No, they're going to get heavy cruisers. We get light cruisers, they get heavy cruisers. Because of course they do. Alright, unknown radar contact. This is Russian. Okay, we only got one contact. Alright, we need to play our cards well here. I'm going to take manual control over the destroyers, too. And what we want to do is we want to get a good... We want to be in a good torpedo position. There we go. It's ID'd. Okay. Come on. Oh my god damn it. You guys didn't hit it. How did you not hit it? Ah! I swear. Turn north. There we go. Good hit. We've hit it with a torpedo. Okay, so it will probably beat us in a straight-up gun duel. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disengage. And we're, we're going to try to come back at it. Alright, so who still has torpedoes? You don't have any torpedoes. You still have torpedoes, so you should definitely come back in. Sirocco, you have torpedoes. You have torpedoes. So on, we've only had one destroyer fire torpedoes so far. Did you fire torpedoes? No, you did not. You were... Please. I want to torpedo. Alright. Okay, so she's turning to the south now. Okay, she's turning away from us. Okay. Cut cut contact. And force her to come back into us. That's what I want. She's ra she's a radar signature again. Still have her spotted. How fast can you move? 24. How fast can you move? 24. How fast can you move? 16. Go up to 24. She can move at 10 knots. Okay. So, she's going this way. Alright. No. Cut to the south. Cut to the south. We're going to try to keep tabs on where she's at. She's going north. She's going north again. I saw a turn this way. Nope. Cut this way. Run, run her down. Run her down at this point. We're gonna have to. Alright. 
Alright, there we go. We're scoring four and shits on her. Yes, I'll detach her. Sure. Go to AI control. She has managed to score a hit on our light cruiser. It's not a good hit. So we need to do whatever damage we can to this ship. Turn around. Try to get torpedoes underway. I'm going to order you guys to lay smoke. Just make it hard for her to land any hits. Okay. Oh, look at this pass. Come on. I can't manually tell them to fire any torpedoes, though. Good shooting! They just shot her. Shot her until she sank. Good job! So this was the heavy cruiser Kalinin. Okay, so... She took a uh, couple of hits there. She took the torpedo from uh, Francesco Crispy. Very crispy ship. I don't think Italians are exactly known for crispy food. <laughs> uh... She's taking a few more hits there. This was in that initial engagement. She's taking multiple hits. She actually had rudder damage at one point. But got it repaired after about 10 minutes. So that's the initial engagement. Then this is the recontact an hour later. Where she just got hit by a lot of 4-inch shells and 6-inch shells. Okay, it looks like we were penetrating uh, like the belt extended hull hit belt. So she's not a particularly well protected ship. So our six inch shells when they were hitting our six inch shells when they were hitting the belt, um, were just punching through at that range and our even our four inch shells were probably doing significant damage. Damn, our four inch shells were penetrating the belt. She couldn't resist the guns on our destroyers. And that kinda doomed her. Uh just check the other ships. Uh we did take uh some ten inch ships or ten ships. Ten inch hits on uh Giovanni Del Ben Nere. Or Nere. Francesco Crispy actually took a lot of hits. And, uh, was not in great shape, but she's the hero of our engagement. She got the torpedo hit. She needed to. Uh, Sirocco is... Uh, not Sirocco. Uh, is that Sirocco? I think that is Sirocco. Um, she got out with, uh, some damage. Heavy damage, reportedly. Uh, she took 10-inch hits and some 5-inch, uh, secondary hits. Our, our, one of our other destroyers, uh... Ugolino Vivaldi took some medium hits, but otherwise made it out, and then um, this Stardo class destroyer made it out. But yeah, okay, so yeah, we sank that uh, CA. We gained prestige. Unrest level's gone down. We've taken Malta. Messina is damaged. We lost a destroyer to a mine. Okay. So we're still now trying for uh, Gibraltar. And it would be really nice to take it. If we can take Gibraltar, we basically have the Mediterranean. And I have half a thought to start trying to see if I can get ships into the Indian Ocean. Um, but I think the best I'd be able to do would be the Carlo Albertos. To be able to supply them with a carrier, I would not. So that would uh, be a lack of air cover. My question is, does Britain have an air base here? Let's see. That is Aiden. They don't. Alright. Close to fortifications. Uh, do we have one at Masawa? I think we should build one at Misawa. Airbase. Alright, this would be... Eritrea? Yeah. We, we need one there. So we can start moving uh, aircraft there in, uh, later on. Okay. Our monthly balance is currently down. Hopefully it'll go back up again once we get more ships done. We have some ships like four or three months away from building. Uh, I do just want to check trade protection. So everything, I think, 
which needs to be on trade protection is. Unfortunately, some of these ships are getting old, like the uh, Corazers. Uh, I'm going to just have to deal with it for now. Britain does actually have a sizable force here. They have two battle cruisers in service now. This is actually getting a little concerning. I don't think Lepanto and Vetter Pisani are that great of an idea. With this enemy coastal raid, I'll accept that. They decline. Convoy defense at Malta. I'll accept that. They decline. Convoy defense over here. Alright. We have destroyers. They're probably going to have destroyers. This is not exactly the battle I won. Okay. Fastest available. Alright. So our goal here is to just kind of hold their destroyers at bay. Is how I would describe it. See what we can do about that. I'm gonna put up smoke. Are you guys putting up smoke? No, you're not. I'll ditch the smoke. Alright. Turn around. Do a little bit of a hold in here just to throw off any torpedoes they might have launched. And just trying to keep them broadside and do what we can to uh, prevent an attack. Go down 20 knots. Go down to cruise speed. They're coming back. Oh god. This, this, actually this is kind of bad because they can shoot us at night because radar. So smoke up and hope that they don't land any hits. Oh god, how many torpedoes are we launching at them? Okay, we're reporting two hits with two torpedo hits on the enemy destroyer force. Okay, squad max is currently 20 knots. We got one ship going really slowly there, one ship going moderately slowly there. They might be leaving. I think they're leaving. I think we've protected the convoy. Yeah, of course we're detecting unknown radar contacts. It's the convoy, you dolts. Britain is not going to be able to get this convoy. I also really want an invasion of Gibraltar soon. But I'll see. I'll see what medium range ships I have, and uh, try to deploy them uh, down south as soon as uh, we have or down down to uh, the other region and try to take something there as soon as we have. Uh, what is it? As soon as we have uh, Gibraltar invaded, they're like reached. Yeah, two destroyers. Er is sinking. Okay, so. She was struck by a lot of five-inch shells. She was the one on fire. She was not hit by a torpedo. And eventually just sank due to a bulkhead rupture. Uh, Destroyer Kale, we did hit with the torpedo. And uh, she actually sank pretty quickly. No, not pretty quickly? Yeah, she sank pretty quickly. So they didn't fire too many torpedoes at us, but we just spammed torp... We just got in a good torpedo position on them and spammed them at them, and they turned around. Oh, they fired... This one fired torpedoes at our merchant, but they missed. Um, so we scored some foreign shits. On her test... Okay, so test took a torpedo hit. I want test to sink, because I know test got a torpedo hit on uh, one of our ships at one point. On uh, Giorgio. No, I believe is in port current. I believe she's uh, getting patched up after a submarine hit, right? Or is that another ship? Okay, so that was a Corsair there. So we did have Corsairs out, and that probably helped. But the Dardos aren't bad at shooting either. So yeah. Eh, good match. Two British destroyers sunk. We win. They were unable to attack our convoy. We missioned two subs. Better terms. they do to unfavorable weather. We lose Corvettes. 
We have a fuel shortage. We are getting more subs built. Ships under construction. We are one turn away from a bunch of additional corvettes. Uh, they're still getting a lot of subs. I'm trying to hold them back. Okay, so what I want to do is I actually want to transfer uh, carrier air groups to uh, Merz El Kabir and, uh, not carrier groups, uh, main air groups to Merz El Kabir and Algiers um, for the later invasion. So El Kabir has 36 aircraft. We need more. We need a lot more. So we were concentrating a lot in the Syracuse region. I don't think we need to do that. I think I can grab the dive and torpedo bombers from here and move them to uh, El Kabir. Okay, I can get another eight planes. I'm probably going to grab the fighters. Uh, n yeah, I'll grab the fighters. Oh, wait, I have to work on new aircraft at some point, too. Alright, so... Algiers is the next place, and I will be grab. I will start by grabbing planes. Part of me wants to grab them out of Syracuse. Uh, part of me wants to grab them out of somewhere else, probably like Bone. Oh, Bone has stuff. Okay, Benghazi still has stuff. I don't think Benghazi needs this anymore. So I'm we're going to take this force and move it to Al Algiers. At the same time, Airbase Messina has a lot. Airbase Catero has a lot. Trapini. This has a fighter squadron. Where's Trapini again? I'm not sure we need that there. Where is Trapini? Oh, there's Trapini. I think we might, actually. Uh, maybe, out of the, maybe out of one of the naval air stations, like uh, Taranto. Yeah, I think taking a squadron out of Taranto is probably a good idea. So, Algiers, I think we want a strike squadron of some sort. I will take uh, maybe dive bombers. All right, there we go. Planes in Algiers and uh, El Kabir. Planning for a solid invasion on Gibraltar. They do have an airfield at Gibraltar. I don't much like that they have an airfield there. Okay. Outside of that, if we look at our ships and service was active. Uh, yeah, okay, San Giorgio is currently out of service, but everything else is active. I don't think there's any management I need to do. We need more sub-hunters here. Ultimately, the sub-hunters are not doing anywhere near as well as I'd like. And I really hope to get some good tax. Oh, yeah, air aircraft types. Uh, request proposals. We probably want a new fighter, if possible. All right, our torpedo bombers are, are a little old. Um, yeah, let's let's get a torpedo bomber. Uh, no, we, we need to invest heavily in fighters. You know what? I want to see. Compare all aircraft of type fighter. So, Great Britain is that. So, we apparently have a better maximum speed than the best British fighter. Okay. I'm willing to take that. I think it is best to get a torpedo bomber then. Probably with speed and range, I'm thinking. Or maybe speed and speed, because range at this point is pretty good overall. Yeah, I don't think those need any more range. You know what? Speed and toughness. Let's go with that. No, let's go with toughness, then speed. Three Corvettes are commissioned. 
Uh, yeah, only Navy. New Philippine Scout is ready for service. Okay. We've got our cruisers back, and uh, I think now it is time to invest into more sub-hunting corvettes. And honest to goodness, another air group somewhere. I, I need more flying boats. Bari, just take like 20 flying boats. How much maintenance are we playing in naval aircraft? A lot. Honestly, um, you also just take like 20 flying boats. And let's see if we can get those squadrons to sink some subs. Okay. So we need to get Gibraltar. That's our goal. Did I put those additional corvettes on trade protection? I did not. Trade protection is going up. Our ASW value is going up to... Okay, that's total ASW. I think that's... That's probably ships. That's probably planes. And we just... We need that at a high level because they are building a lot of subs. Two Corvettes are commissioned. Oh, God damn it! Great! So, there are two large ships I can actually move into the Indian Ocean, because they're not short range. Guess which two just got torpedoed by submarines and are now out for five months? Yeah, both of them! God damn it! Out of all of my ships, cruiser sized or larger, those are the only two I can move into that sea zone. And now I can't have them for five months. Oh, hey, uh, hopefully we can get a good capture on uh, Gibraltar here. Okay, cool. We got that airbase done. Oh, we got ASW torpedoes. Nice. Well, okay. I, I, I need to stop saying nice every time they sink a liner. <laughs> I'm like, oh, hey, it decreases tensions with other nations. Yeah, a lot of people just died. Alright. I'm gonna order, like, six more of these guys. I'll order four more and uh, two more Dardo-class destroyers for fleet escort purposes. Okay, so ASW is now at 341 and 333. And I probably want to add another air group then. We'll add another one at Imperia of uh, 20 flying boats. And that should in continue to increase our uh, rating. I'm not liking this fuel shortage. I would really like to invade uh, Gibraltar. Oh, they're going to attack us at Corsica. Convoy defense here. Yeah, we pretty much have dominance over those seas. Increases radar detection chance. Cool. Gibraltar's invaded. Hey, our flying boat sank two subs. Okay, so we've sunk five enemy subs. 76 are operational. Okay, so what can we get into the Indian Ocean? Mini is in the Indian Ocean currently. That's where we need ships right now. Okay, I think we need to rebuild the Salernos. Because they are getting a little old. Alright, they need an electro-optical director. Local yard. Um... There we go. Okay, our ships, our capital ships are actually operating with electro-optical directors. Good. Okay. 
So I want to get ships into the Indian Ocean. Who is not short range? All my fleet destroyers are short range. All my escort destroyers aren't. You are old. Hey, these guys can move. Okay. Corsairs. Get them rebuilt in a local yard. Give me an advanced director. Another AA director if you can. Can we do torpedo reloads? No, we can't. That would take too long, so I want to keep it there. And... Oh, hey, you can get the 4 days W mortar. Okay, so Corsairs, rebuild them. Okay, so I want a Corvette. It's 4, eight, four days W mortar. Two. Okay, you know what? Here's what we need to do. I need to open this design, give us a four day SW mortar, two K guns, local yard, 600 tons. And no mine sweeping gear. And then that should... We should hopefully be able to start building those here pretty soon. Um, okay. So we got some dardos under construction. We still have to keep the fleet active until we have uh, Gibraltar in full. Okay, I want to get them. And I need more submarine air groups. Or submarine-based air groups. So, uh, Lindos... Hello, get a group of 20 flying boats. I'm gonna ex I wanna expand that airbase, actually. Expand base. And I wanna get aircraft moved over there. So what do we want? Um... So it's probably good to get a group of flying boats over here. Actually, you know what? I'll add a new group. Six flying boats. But I want to pull some fighters out of somewhere. Like, I think uh, Toronto's force is a bit mixed. Or mismatched. Come on. Go to Misawa. And then we can get another six aircraft there. Which I think is going to just, unless I have a group of six, like, land-based uh, things sitting around somewhere, other than, you know, flying boats. I have a group of six, like, uh, torpedo bombers or dive bombers or something, I'll probably move something. But otherwise, I will probably just take a group at Toronto. Ah, uh, you have two torpedo bomber squadrons, so I'm going to change the number of this torpedo bomber squadron to six aircraft, and they are going to get moved to Misawa. Giving me some air defense over there. How long until my other ships are done? Or my, not ships are done. How long until these guys are repaired? Three months. Because I am strongly considering an invasion down here. And try and take Yemen. Or Yemen. But yeah, having Gibraltar is going to be nice if we can uh, hold it. And that would, that would push Britain and Russia fully out of the Mediterranean. Okay. I think it is time to build another four of those Corvettes. And time to get another... I'm going to put it here. 
just another set of flying boats, 20 flying boats, and just try to get that ASW value up, and hopefully really hit these guys. Their submarine value, the submarines are increasing. I don't like that. I don't like that they are building more submarines over the course of this war. That the fact that the value is increasing is pretty bad. All right. Accept. So it's saying that they don't have a lot of ships in the region, so I'm fairly confident. We also got our CA fume, so that's pretty good. And we have another light cruiser division over here, too. It's gonna be nighttime. Do we see them at all? Where are they? It's supposed to be a battle in support of land combat. What are we looking for? Where are they? Britain, where are you? You know, this war is going to be a massive embarrassment to Britain as long as we don't, uh... Choke. By subs. I mean, our unrest is pretty low at the moment, so that's a good sign. But, you know, we're going to need a lot of flying boats. We're just, we're going to need to pour out flying boats and, uh, ASW ships very quickly. And just, you know, deal with them. Continue searching, yeah. I will continue searching until this is over. We need to find them. 20 knots down this way. I'd much rather have it be daytime and uh, see if we can get a float plane scout out to detect them. Yes, catapult launch search planes. Yes, do it, 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 do it. Come on. We need to see them. We need to find them. I don't know. Continue searching. Continue searching. No contacts. Time's up. They did have a CA. Well, which one was it? Okay, so there's the... Oh, it was a Russian heavy cruiser. Okay. They were just here. Okay, then. That was a draw. 11 Corvettes are commissioned. Early SAM mounts. Awesome. Build me four. How long are those going to take? Eleven months. Little, little bad. Little bad. Rush them. I need them in service quickly. I probably do want to hold on to a little bit of money to make sure I can invade that other location I want to once uh, Carla, Roberta, and Regina, Elena are fixed. We have five, 425 in uh, ASW for aircraft assets. Are their subs going down? They stayed the same for Britain. I think they might have gone down for Russia. We finally got SAM mounts, but it's a little too late to make effective use of them in uh, rebuilds and such. Although we are getting the, I mean, we are getting the Salernos outfitted, but not with us, not with Sam's. Uh, I do desperately need to move stuff into the Indian Ocean. All right, so you can move. Anything else which can move? These guys are all old and all on trade protection. I don't care. I could get them the forward ASW mortar, which I will do. All right, so actually, these guys are minesweepers. We probably shouldn't. Probably shouldn't do that. All right, so you can move. You guys move into the Indian Ocean right now. Get us four destroyers down there. We'll be able to get another group here pretty soon. Uh, we are building more dardos, which is fine. 
and the cars there should refill or refit at the same time as the Carlo Albertos. Uh, get down there with them, and then hopefully we can launch an invasion of Yemen. Except they decline. Small engagement at Malta, they decline. Nice! We lose a Corvette. A store is damaged. We lose a Corvette. We sunk three enemy subs. Okay. Fuel shortage again. Alright, these guys probably should be on trade protection too. There you go. 261425. I probably want another flying flying boat air group somewhere. Hello. Take uh, a lot of flying boats. Just to continue increasing that rating. Pro French Rebellion. They're our ally. What? Why would you rebel for our ally? What the, <laughs> the shit? Corsica, what are you doing? Why are you rebelling for France in the middle of a war where France is on our team? Ah, oh, roll the waves to absurdity. Oh, that's that's great. <laughs> Hold on, I'm posting that. Uh, I'm posting that in the roll the waves Discord real quickly. Just like I don't know if I want to put that in like general or what, but um, probably not war course, but no, I'll put it in general. <clears throat> Hold on. Uh, yeah, I'm posting that there. That that's that's funny. What are you doing, Corsica? <clears throat> okay. So this is going to be starting in the daytime. This is actually going to be very risky. Give me full cap right now. Uh maximum We've got mares. They have a uh, Gibraltar. What the hell do they have? That's a larger force than us. What are these ships? Okay. Destroyers up front, Molotov in back. Shoot the Molotov, please. Boom. Taking hits. We've got our T crossed. Uh... Fume took two hits, we scored one hit. The Garys are being weird. Uh, full tilt attack now. God damn it. We can't run away effectively. This is this is kind of the issue of having all forwards. Alright. Okay, now that we've turned around, we can get shots into her. Okay, we're scoring hits on the Molotov. I will stay kind of slightly going away. Now, the good thing with the Molotov is... <clears throat> she is... She doesn't have armor. She doesn't have much armor. Fume also doesn't have much armor, so that doesn't help. Alright, you know, we're, we're in a broadside duel. I say we retreat. Retreat and use our destroyers to cover us. Uh, 
Ouais. Go briefly broadside again. We got our T crossed. She's gonna turn. We're, n we're not in a terrible position right now. Do not fire on the Garys, you moron. All right, so we're aiming slightly back. I want to change our course slightly. Okay, so it's 183. It's 170, so I need to subtract it a little bit. There we go. 10 inch hit. Fume took a belt penetrating hit. That's bad. Uh, looks like we scored a 10 inch hit on the Molotov too, and she can only get her forward guns firing at us right now. We got some cap taking off. I would, it would like it if they get here. I'm gonna increase our course slightly. Ah, uh, that's only a four inch hit. Molotov is getting her aft guns in action. It looks like her forward gun is not shooting at us for some reason. She's, her gunnery's weird. I would like to disengage from this if I can. Although, you're gonna give me good opportunities to shoot. So if the Molotovs pulled around. We have this uh, heavily damaged destroyer going back, a Dardo class. We might have to sacrifice it. But now the goal is to play Fume correctly. And you got to target that Molotov. She's shooting at you. You shoot back at her. Damn it! Your turret jammed. All right, we have naval strikes incoming. There is some concern that British naval strikes could be incoming too. I think if we adjust upwards. Nope. All right, I adjusted the wrong way. Molotov is turning around. She's trying to dodge because of the naval strikes here. Which is why I think the correct decision right now is to run. That would have been funny though if she ran, wound up running into the torpedoes again. No, they didn't strike. You were literally on top of her! That, that's your target, the Molotov. There we go. There we go. They're firing medium SAMs. No aircraft hit. Nice! Aerial torpedo hit on the Molotov. I don't want to keep Fume out here. Alright, she's still chasing. She's on heavy damage. No, we gotta pull Fume back. We don't have good air cover in this region. I think our aircraft can take out that Molotov. But I mean, this this here is a game entirely based on air power. It's a battle. Battle based entirely on air power. And the big question is, when are those planes from Gibraltar going to arrive? I want to balance... I want to bias this battle as hard as I can in favor of me having the uh, better air power. Looks like I'm not getting land-based cap over my division. They missed. They've still got something over here.
So there's a glide bomb. And miss. The destroyers. But I'll, I will hang out around El Kabir. I won't go into port. Okay, you know what? We need to turn around and we need to save our destroyer. That's what Fume needs to do right now. Reduce smoke. Right. We briefly had another contact. Yep, that was what I was concerned about. That was exactly what I was concerned about. Those are the aircraft from Gibraltar or Gibraltar arriving. Okay, so I'm trying to use Fume to uh, distract the or to push these guys back. Okay, we're launching torpedoes at them. We're in a good torpedoing position. They are not. But we're going to have to get lucky. We did not get lucky. You guys need to go this way. Okay, those Gary class have taken a little bit of damage. I don't think that uh, the British are particularly liking that. You need to go this way. I'll set you to 20 knots so that you can keep up. Okay, they have cap over there somewhere? Oh my god. Do not go north. Do not go north, you idiot. Turn around. You have to head this way. Cruise speed, 15 knots. There we go. We'll keep her in sight. Detach, you moron! I'm going to get this destroyer into port. That's what I, that's what I need. She does not want to cooperate. Hold off a little bit to the side. There we go. Got her into port. Go to cruise speed. Alright, scenario length reached. We sank it. We sank it. We sank it. And we sank a Corvette. When do we sink a Corvette? Well, uh, good job. Maxim Gorky was sunk. Looks like through progressive flooding. So we scored a 10-inch hit, started a fire. Uh, didn't last. 10-inch hit belt penetration, 10-inch rudder damaged. Uh, so that probably caused its turn initial turnaround, then it tried to chase us. We were scoring some 10-inch hits there, limits flooding. Takes a torpedo from there, and then... I guess the seas were just a little too heavy. For it. Yeah, Founders due to heavy seas. I'm surprised that we were even in heavy seas. So Fium, Fium was taking a lot more hits and wasn't delivering as much. Uh, yeah, lots of 10-inch hits there. Some 5-inch hits, too. Um, she scored 7 hits with her main battery and took 11 minus 2 5-inch 9. Okay, she, she was making a... She was doing well. Yeah, this destroyer uh, hit by a number of 5-inch shells. Uh, which we had to get out of there before, you know, anything bad happened to her. Okay, she struck a mine after the battle. That That's where we sank a Corvette. And then Cossack, uh, this was one of the destroyers chasing us, which we shot up a little bit. It's a little annoying that they have missiles. Uh, we do have missiles now, though, but yeah. Gained a prestige point. No, I do not want to sign more aircraft automatically. Okay, we lost a uh, another destroyer. Lost a destroyer. Uh, <laughs> one of the few British uh, heavy cruisers was just forced to scuttle. 
Awesome. Go on to trade protection. ASW 368 and 453. It's going up. So, did we get stuff in the Indian Ocean? Yes, we did. We got four destroyers in the Indian Ocean. We are... Carlo Alberto and Regina Elena are ready to move down to the Indian Ocean. And with them, we will also take another set of destroyers. Uh, these two, the uh, Corazairs. I think there is another Corazair which isn't quite done yet. So, Yemen is the invasion target. Britain doesn't have a big navy there. And they can't go to the Mediterranean anymore, they have to go around. Our unrest level is going down. Is the British sub count going down or up? It's going up. Fuck. Russian sub count's going up too. We're gonna need a lot more Corvettes done here very shortly. We're gonna get the last Corsair done here also. And we're gonna need more Corvettes and we're gonna need more uh little plane things. But once we invade this area, I don't think we have any more invasions we want to do. Still got a big active fleet here. Uh, Britain still doesn't have a big fleet. Cruiser action. I'll accept that. That's large. Convoy defense over here. That's fine. Seven Corvettes are commissioned. Uh, I'll take it. Yes! We invaded you men! <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Did this sub just successfully torpedo? An enemy CVL and then get sunk by aircraft. Andrew Doria is damaged. Alright, so we're having some food issues. Uh, we have a lot more of these guys now. Trade protection 381 ASW. We do have to keep the fleet active. But not as active. We have an actual successful invasion of Yemen. <laughs> Britain was probably not expecting that. So I expect us to go through the Suez and then take Yemen from them. Uh, I don't... We can't reach these areas, though, unfortunately. Uh, we also want to make sure, you know, Corsica doesn't flip. Uh, anyway, we need a lot of ASW assets right now. So, first of all... Uh, those aren't going to be done in time. Seven months. That takes, what, 11 months? Build me four of them. Screw it. And we can accelerate these so they're 10 months. They'll be good. They'll be pretty good assets. Uh, these guys. We just need a lot of them. How many ships does Britain have right now? Two battlecruisers, three building. They still have their CBs, they still have their CBLs, but they're not going to be able to do very much um, very soon. Because we are go we're going to have complete control over the Mediterranean. They're not going to be able to base out of there. Um, they could bring the fight to the Indian Ocean, but we're already giving ourselves some uh, leeway in that region. Anyway, Bonificio, hello there. You are flying boat base. Bellato. Hello there. You are flying boat base. Um, you, we actually do kind of need for um, some invasions. Uh, hello, it's a fax. You are now flying boat base. Okay, let me just quickly check what's on uh, Corsica, because it's in Rebellion. So St. Florent has stuff. Bonificio has stuff. I might see if I can move something out of St. Florent then. Like a uh, dive bomber group. To there. Probably... I don't know. I don't know if I need to pull the fighter group out because we are in such a good shape right now. Um, we just need to sink these uh, British subs. Alright, so I will see where I'm at next month. Except... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, unfortunately, the we have to immediately take the invaded territories. 
by this. So that would be Gibraltar and Yemen. I'm not going to grab Ireland, although that would be hilarious. I, You know what? It's getting close to the end of the game. We should take something else. Hello. Uh, we could take Zanzibar. All right. Britain had unrest go high enough that we collapsed their government from them just losing so much territory. Wow. Okay, so let's take all this. Russia continues to fight on. <laughs> Russia's just sitting there like, we're going to continue this war. <laughs> Russia, what are you going to do? Uh, sure. I'm not going to take the prestige hit. Russia! What the fuck? <laughs> I'm wondering if I can actually move my ships to Northern Europe or not. I probably can't. Um, what is that? Are you supposed to? Just, what? Okay, so, I don't need to have all my ships active, although I do need to suppress the rebellion in Corsica. But I probably don't need all the aircraft anymore. Um, we have complete control over the Mediterranean now, aside from uh, France, who owns, you know, homeland, Austria-Hungary, who has homeland, and Germany, who apparently has Greece. If the war is going to continue on, do you want to go spy on Germany and see if they'll join? on the enemy team, and uh, we can take Greece from them. I think I think I'd need to do that. <clears throat> anyway, uh, what do we want? So torpedo bomber wise, we have better torpedo bombers. So this one has better speed. Uh, this one has best range. Not much better than our current one. Uh, firepower is great. Toughness is much better. I think this one's better. This one's best. Oh, they have a merchant raider. Let's put our spying gun to Germany and see if they'll join. So, yeah, uh, Russia's just now like, wait, what are we supposed to be doing? <laughs> this feels so nice, though. Oh, this feels so nice. This this was my goal. Other other than you know not having this and not having this, we're we're literally two colonies short. If uh, if Albania gets captured by someone and uh, Greece and we can take Greece somehow, it's done. All right. So anyway, um, I think our focus at this point goes into building subs, and I think it's smart to get medium range. And that, but I think we're also going to need coastal subs. We're going to need to rebuild a sub fleet. I'm going to see if I can move a ship into the northern European region, uh, but I will be pulling my ships out of uh, the Indian Ocean now. Other than Rimini, uh, Mediterranean, and hopefully that won't uh, decrease my tonnage on foreign stations by too much. First requirement is five thousand. I think we'll be okay. <clears throat> what are other places I could have taken? So, couldn't have gotten that. Could have gotten Sierra Leone, but I probably didn't want that. It would have been funny, though, if I just went for Ireland instead and just said, fuck it. Um, but I can't... I, I don't think I can. Alright, so, if we're going to move any ships, I say... We try it with... Uh, Try a small force here. Move two carriers. One has diamonds, the other has potatoes. <laughs> yeah. I say we move all of these guys into Northern Europe and see if it works. Nope, okay. 
probably won't work. I'm hoping it works because Fran says home areas. When it's diamonds on the head potatoes, you make up your mind now. <laughs> but yeah, no. Um, the UK just... I don't know how the UK got or got such high levels of unrest, but it was probably to do with the embarrassment of losing Egypt, losing Malta, and then also simultaneously having uh, Gibraltar and Yemen invaded by Italy. All right, so Russia, what are they doing? <laughs> yeah, that would do it. Yep. Uh, what? Uh, how, okay, how many subs are they building? Uh, they are building subs. But you probably don't need as large of a strike group anymore. Like, what are they going to send down here? They can't send much. So it's time to uh, disband fighter squadrons. Not flying boat squadrons, they need flying boat squadrons. I'm going to disband a number of my aircraft squadrons. And I'm just going to kind of pick them at random. Honestly, you know what? I'm going to disband everything which isn't a flying boat. This is going to take a little bit. We don't need any of the non-flying boat squadrons in the Mediterranean or Indian Ocean anymore. We just, at this point, we only need flying boats. With Britain out of the game. Now, admittedly, if Germany comes into the game, we will probably need to uh, get uh, some good old aircraft, typical aircraft again. All right, so disband. You know what, I'm going to move some of these guys into reserve. I'm going to move those guys into reserve. I'm going to move uh, Algiers force, other than the flying boats, into reserve. Uh, I'm going to disband Bones fighters. I'm going to disband uh, Cagliari's fighters. Uh, I'm going to disband these guys, the guys at St. Florent. Uh, Bonificio is only flying boats at this point. Syracuse, I'm going to move those to reserve. Uh, I'll move Messina's groups to reserve too, so we have a nice, uh, good, big reserve force. I don't think I need anything at Trapini. Don't think I need anything here. And I don't think I need the Spilato forces or the Misawa forces anymore. And look at how much additional money I have now to spend on flying boat squadrons. So... Trabuk, you get a 20 aircraft group of flying boats. You get a 20 aircraft group of flying boats. I will move some of my... Uh, I'll move the flying boats from Algiers. No, I'll keep them there. Uh, but Valletta is now in reserve. That should be in reserve. Oh, hey, we have our naval air stations, too. I, I did go through these. Okay, good. And get a group of flying boats. I actually get like two groups of flying boats here. <clears throat> okay. So I need to see if I can actually move ships in Northern Europe or not. Because if we can, we will take the battle to them. I'm going to say yes. Lives over pilots are important. Okay, I don't want the U.S. entering the war. Um, that would be bad. I think we need carriers at this point. So I'm going to take a Rhone's design. Shrink it down if I can. But get a medium-range carrier. 
Oh, we need torpedo protection of four. I was hoping to do a little better there, but oh well. Electro optical director. I, you know what? I might. I will shrink her down. About this size, I'm thinking. And get maybe more something at like 82. You know what? Probably auto loader guns here. You know what? No. Uh. How. How quickly can I build a carrier? Build like a sword. No. 24,000 take. It is actually a little expensive to build this. That is a hev that is a hefty heavy anti aircraft factor though. You no, know let's get her up to hundred aircraft. Oh no. Just a little expensive. We need ships to uh fight them up north, but we don't really have Good stuff there, so... Subs? I mean, coastal subs don't take that long to build. I mean, we're getting more destroyers done. Okay, you know what? The Dardos has been the Dardos have been really good for us, but I think we need a non short range version of them. And maybe normal speed. Okay, right, we did get quintuple torpedo mounts. So let's put those on. Advanced director we should probably have. Four days W mortar we should probably have. I'm not going to go for torpedo reloads. I think that might be good. No. It would be nice to get her a little faster, but I think 22 knots is going to still be good. We want affordable destroyers. That doable? No. Oh, hey, we can just increase that. So there we go. Uh, reduce that twice and then get another medium. Five inch guns. Can't do auto loader. We can do it on six inch guns, but not needed. All right. Uh, the Maestro class destroyer is what we're going to start building instead. It'll take a little bit of time. And we need uh, 500 additional tons on foreign station, so this destroyer right now will go to foreign station. Oh, Erone is old. We should probably rebuild her then. Electro Optical Director. So, none of the ships successfully moved. Unfortunately. We will give her more light anti-aircraft guns. And hopefully that'll uh, better keep her safe. Oh, local yard. That didn't help. I think this'll be fine. Alright. So Roan's no longer old. I probably don't need the Lepantos in active service anymore, because they're not super needed. So we have money once again. I should invest... You know what? I should invest it into uh, 
more light cruisers. Maybe a modification of this. It might not be worth it to go with autoloader. I think it is actually. Okay, put those on the director. There's gonna be no unit machinery. Well, local yard. 12,000 tons. Can't do that. Get her as many mines as possible. Get 120 max, so get us 120. Uh, it'll just stay at 110, screw it. Um, give me more light anti aircraft guns. Uh, okay, she needs a better director. I think we can up armor, arm, up armor the turrets a little bit. Not really. I mean, she's already pretty close to her weight limit. So I don't know how the hell this war is going to go at this point. Mission 4 subs. Press for hard terms. There we go. We won. Would have been nice to take one of those. Alright. Cancel for now. Go to low spying. Or go to none spying. Um... Doctrine, stop training. That was one hell of a win. On the other hand, we still have a rebellion to put down. So I'm going to mothball the older battleships, but I'm going to keep the rest of these on active duty still. Air groups, though? Well, all the air groups are getting removed. We're just going to go to the end if we can. I would I would love to uh, just get the series done with here. But we were pretty successful. We currently... We have the Mediterranean like we want. All right. There we go. Reserve. And look at how much money we're saving. All right. So all of our Corvettes got scrapped. All of, other than these guys. So these guys should probably all be mothballed. In terms of destroyers... I'm gonna mothball all of the uh all of these guys. Everything which was used largely for trade protection. I think the casinos might be normal. This one's not no. These Okay, you know what? Mothball them. Mothball these guys. Mothball these guys. This guy gets mothballed too, and then... But keep the rest of them active for the moment. We still have to deal with a fucking rebellion. Uh... Honestly, I probably don't need the Salernos anymore. Yeah, goodbye Salernos. I'm going to put all these guys on normal construction pace now. Alright, research. Let's get stuff back up to uh, maybe mediums here. High for this one. Actually, high for this one. Medium for this one. Oh, ley light's good. Still probably high on all of those. I'll move VSW tech to medium. Uh, 
I'll put you at medium. I'll put you at medium. Submarines will be at low. You guys go back up to medium. Okay. Rebalance priorities, make them a little bit more uh, even. And hope that Corsica doesn't, you know, decide to go to France, because I want to keep my navy active here so that it doesn't. Artists commissioned. Okay. So we shot down 703 enemy aircraft. 71% were to fighters, 10% were by other aircraft, 11% by heavy anti-aircraft, 3% by medium A, 5% by me light AA, and 0% by SAM. I should have put SAMs on that carrier we were constructing. Let's build, an, let's build a light cruiser. Let's build two of them. I'll be able to uh, put my stuff in the reserve force here, hopefully soon. Ah, uh, let's get some prestige. We're close to the end. What are they gonna do, go to war with us again? Oh hey, these fighters need to be disbanded. Cool, that's not costing us much money anymore. And we need a new aircraft type, so that would probably be a fighter, which I'm going to guess would be firepower and speed. In terms of ships under construction, it would be really nice to build that uh, d a couple of those destroyers I was talking about. And we'll probably want to add a couple more on a little later on. But we need to suppress the rebellion at Corsica. Wow. They actually... God damn it! I almost had complete control of the Mediterranean, but Corsica rebelled for my ally. Ugh. <laughs> okay, so Corsica's just like, no, fuck you, we're going back to France. I'm just like, come on. Come on. Oh, well, anyway, we're close enough to the end that I'm not expecting another war. So at this point, just... I'd say reserve everything. Mothball, uh, the Lepantos. I'm very glad to see Lepanto and uh, Vetter Pisani surviving to the end. Uh, Mothball, the Albertos, reserve... Uh, reserve the uh, Fium, the remaining Zara. Uh, Mothball, maybe these guys, and aside from Rumini, and then reserve all of these guys here. Other than Rumini, of course, which won't work. Reserve these. Reserve these. Reserve these. Reserve these. Reserve you. all of these guys and though we just started we just started spamming dardo class destroyers okay I'm gonna get maestrals up to uh, four units 2,000 tons and it's probably a good idea to rebuild our CV force towards the end of the game so I will take a Martin I'm going can we get four catapults Is that legal uh, what about in the local yard? Is that legal? Is it legal? Uh, air control is not the best type available. Is it legal? It, too many main mounts for effect rate of fire. So we're losing rate of fire. Okay, missile. Um, okay, it must be center line. Who who cares that the SAM is center line on the carrier? A Q. It's just too overweight now. Yeah, it was just too overweight overweight. 
Okay, if we go up to 30,000 tons, though, we're fine. Or with the uh, amount of guns we have. I'll get our ammo. I'll get our. I will get our ammunition up. Words. I'll keep it. I'll keep her at 28 knots. Oh, hold on. Thirty-one thousand. I thought it briefly was like okay, but no, apparently not. All right, let's reduce the mass down to a reasonable level. Here, this will be good. No, don't develop. I just realized that we don't have this. Now develop. Okay, so we will build carriers and we will build light cruisers. Because that's what we need. We're pretty good on battleships. Alright, also I'm going to quickly do something here. Because for whatever reason, new software is available from Apple. And I don't want it. Um... Eh, they're not that pissed off with us. I'll take the extra prestige. Great Britain is granted independence to the Falkland Islands. France is no longer friends with us. Our corvettes are commissioning. Actually, no mothball them because they're corvettes. Okay, so we'll be able to start work on the uh, Il Rondon class here. And I want two of them. Because we need to rebuild our carrier capacity. And honestly, we have a little bit of extra money remaining. I think we should get another... C I have... You know what? We should get another CL, but we should get a CL with a... Uh, Sam on it. And that would probably be best where... No W catapult. This is W Sam. D did that change anything? It did. It made it crowded. Um, I'm just going to get rid of the L turret then. And then we will add a Sam. We'll add an L Sam. That'll be fine. I'll probably add the torpedo tubes back on. For another few light anti-aircraft guns, and that's pretty good. Just gonna keep her in short range. Three Corvettes are commissioned. Strail is commissioned. Okay. At this point, it's just a uh, drive to the end. We're almost done. I'm willing to call the campaign pretty close to where we're at. Grekal is almost done. We'll get that uh, last Corvette done there. Hey, new full plane model. Imagine getting into war with Austria again. At this point. <laughs> One BB, two BCs. I love how Austria's just still still around in uh, you know, nineteen fifty three. Real the Waves Two is such a great game. It would actually be pretty fun to fight. Oh no, they would not be fun to fight. I'm gonna see what sub what sub counts. So Austria Hungary has 129 subs. We have seven with 20 building. Britain has 89. Russia has 47. Germany has 78. USA has 20. Everyone's everyone else is really committing hev heavily to subs right now, and we're not. Where is oil? Matra, Venezuela. I'm curious. Did any like extra? I'm not sure if any extra things got oil discovered this time. 
But hey, you know, hopefully we're gonna end this with the Suez Canal under our control. Everyone's getting a little pissed. New fighter prototypes are ready. Okay, cool. Max speed's better, range is better. Firepower, this one's just objectively better. Oh, hey, new French medium bomber. We need a new medium bomber then. Uh, medium bomber, uh, bomb load and speed. Hungary and Russia. Fine, let them examine the ship. Okay, um, that's moderately concerning. We may have to go back to war here. Alright. Can I refit you guys with anything interesting? It doesn't look like it. Just rebuild them straight up. Take these guys. I can get a 4 day SW mortar on them, and I would like to reduce mass elsewhere on the ship to fit that in. And I think it's probably a good idea to rebuild the Dardo class destroyers with uh, an ASW destroyer. Or, or, I can't fit it in. I would love to, but I can't. Dardos are like pretty much at the mass limit. I think San Giorgio needs a good rebuild here. She does have some mass remaining, so I might be able to get a missile launcher in on her. I do like a W, and I'm smart about it. Hmm. How do we save some weight? Reducing air capacity is not going to help as much as I want it to. We could probably reduce the number of guns. Got like 10. Okay, just checking. Zero. Might be more worth it to have zero of those. And just load her up with light anti-aircraft. Which should uh, dissuade attacks. Oh, hey, local yard, sorry. Um, that's not enough. Okay, reduce it down. I'm going to add a medium. Add another medium. There we go. So we add... Hold on, dual purpose. So... It's only point... It's only worth it once we get up to eight. Like, you have to have a lot of both four and five inch guns if you really want them to count, but... Okay, so rebuild San Giorgio. We'll get her ready for service again. Southwest Africa. I'm not going to take Southwest Africa. Who cares about Southwest Africa? I want to see if I can try to get through this without pissing off anyone. Mission 3 subs. So we did get a gradual knack. National accuracy improvement, that's good. We got a bunch of stuff about to uh, rebuild. I assume the Lampos I probably can't fit in 4 days W Mortar on. I'm going to do something interesting. H and I will go away. We can do this with the Lampos. Get full mines on some additional anti-aircraft guns. Okay, so those are getting rebuilt. I'm considering the Luparas as well in the local yard getting a rebuild. When were these rebuilt? 1944. Yeah, they probably need one. Okay, so that's what we want. 
We can't afford it. Unless we get rid of a 5-inch turret. I think that's acceptable. I'm willing to accept the loss of a 5-inch turret. For uh, more anti-submarine warfare equipment. then I might consider the uh, remaining acre bees as well for a rebuild. Local yard, can't get the autoloader in. I'll get rid of the X turret. Increase the torpedoes to uh, quad mounts. Here are a couple of additional medium anti-aircraft guns. Probably more useful than medium anti-aircraft guns than the destroyers, so they can uh, better shoot down aircraft. And... Yeah, hopefully having the additional ASW will really help if we do wind up in a war with Austria-Hungary. Absolutely, the wonton sinking ships are submarines in modern world. <gasps> yes! I got everyone to scrap those subs! <laughs> everyone else scrapped a lot more submarines than us. Unfortunately, I just rebuilt a lot of ships to uh, be better at ASW warfare. How does that feel, Austria-Hungary? How does that feel, Britain? How does that feel, Russia? <laughs> oh, they just lost all their subs. Unfortunately, I... I should not have rebuilt the ships as I did, but... Oh, well. That was <laughs> probably the worst turn possible to come after going, hey, let's refit our ships to deal with submarines and then get everyone to scrap all their submarines. But hey, they scrapped all their submarines. That's fun. It's funny. <laughs> I need another light cruiser. And Giorgio's in rebuild for another five months. Hopefully tensions will decline. I just want to run to the end. Um. Yeah. Yeah, together we rule the world. Sure. We have a treaty with Germany now. Or maybe not a treaty, but I guess we just got that. Oh, hey, I have money. Okay, so we should probably use this money to rebuild other ships. So Leonardo da Vinci and Vespucci, I want in Alighieri, I want to just keep in reserve. Um, it's probably good to make sure these guys are rebuilt, though. That needs to be a line. Hmm. Alright, so... I'm thinking missile launcher on the battleships? Followed up by a loss of the tertiary battery. With a improvement in light anti-aircraft. Can't go all the way up. Interesting. How much would that take to get auto loaders? That would massively increase our uh, heavy interior. Oh, this has to be built in the local yard. Hold on. Can't get auto loaders on those. All right, that's fair. You build Andrew Doria. And honestly, rebuild uh, Vittorio Emmanuel as well. So we want the. W missile launcher again. Introduce these to zero. 
make sure she's being built in the local yard, and then increase her light to interior craft as high as we can get it. <clears throat> I think Garibaldi's going to get a refit. Local yard, remove all the tertiaries. We don't need them. She still has unsubmerged mounts. I want uh, I want that. I want that if I can get it. I'll remove a uh, five inch gun. Okay, there we go. That's the most we can get Garibaldi to. I'm not going to improve her main guns. Uh, you guys should probably be moved to reserve just in case stuff happens. Uh, it might be good to... Uh... I don't know. I don't know if I want to modernize Fume or not. How long until the Martins need modification, or modernization? I think they do need it. So one thought here is to remove the secondary guns again. Like so. And say, hey, let's take a missile launcher on her. And a catapults. And then get more light anti-aircraft guns with the little additional stuff we have. We could also reduce the plane count slightly and get more anti-air. Okay, this is actually being built in Germany. It should be built in the local yard. I was hoping that would save more weight than it did. Moving two aircraft is going to be enough to save us. There you go. Rebuild both the Martins. Ah, uh, I'll buy it. I don't think we need uh, tension to go up. I don't have any rules for this campaign either. We're not breaking like any records with a uh, with uh, our uh, prestige here. Medium bombers, uh, yeah, much better bomb load. I love that. Who much? This one has good speed, good range, good everything. Take it. Aircraft types proposed new. All right, you know what? Flying boat. Honestly, I'm going to say toughness. No, I'm going to say reliability. Reli reliability and speed on the flying boat. Okay, we have money again. Why do we have money? Oh, San Giorgio completed. Actually, you should probably be active now. We're going to send Alba, Alba in for a rebuild. Uh... Structure 5, because it looks like we might go to war here with Russia very soon. We do need a mi missile launcher in Alba. Which, again, means deleting the tertiary battery. And massively rebuild our local yard. That's not enough? We'd have to delete the torpedo tubes. Or increase the anti aircraft firepower. Or 
I'll decrease her uh, secondary guns and just lower her torpedoes to uh, three. Alright, so we might fight another war at home here in a moment. Doctrine, gunnery training. Um, yeah, apply it. Air groups. Auto aircraft. Um, I forgot to bring my calculator up. Let's see. Uh, not open design. View data. No. Uh, I'm a design. What is your spotting value? 52. You know what? Air, air group. Should just be, like, fighters. In terms of destroyers, the Maestrals will be active. We should probably get the Dardos active too. And the Lampos are active as well. Actually, we got a lot of destroyers active. Um, probably be good to get all of you guys active. Uh, the Venezias are old. They need a rebuild. We still have... Oh, we have that last Catania we need to scrap. Um... Can I get autoloaders on these? I can. I probably want that. Part of me does want to see if I can get a missile launcher on him. Don't think I'll be able to. It's just too heavy. I'll get more light into here. Secondary guns? Oh, that's what. There you go. We'll, we'll improve the 4-inch guns. We'll, we will rebuild the Venezias. And... How fast is she? 27 knots. She needs a rebuild. Okay. It'd be nice to get those to be autoloaders, but I don't think I will. Let's just give her more gun, more uh, protection. There you go. That'll work. Oh, local yard. Fuck. Um, there you go, that'll be, uh, Catania's rebuild. Well, Catania class is rebuild. So it looks like we're not going to be able to get everything rebuilt. Uh, you should be active. You should be active, you should be each reserve. These guys will probably remain mothballed. I'm gonna... I'll put these two in the reserve fleet. They're nice uh, backups. Pantos will be in the mothball fleet. Might be brought to the reserve fleet when the war breaks out. Assuming it does. We are certainly preparing for war now. Add air unit. Fighter. Red air unit fighter. All right, so if we if war winds up breaking out, we will probably have to fight around Pola and Fiume, as well as this whole area. So that would prioritize. Okay, so I'm going to create a standard uh, air group for this region. Okay, so Zara's going. Airbase Zara is going to be active. Spilato, Catero, we need. Uh, outside of that, I don't think we need you active. You can go to reserve. 
Uh, Rhodes and Lindos can go into reserve for now. Actually, I'll, I'll just uh, deactivate everything. Okay, Catero, Sp Spilato, and uh, Zara, I want active. Um, I will start reserving everything else. And you guys too, and then I'll activate the ones I want. One thing I kind of hate about this is that R's and A's at a distance kind of look similar. So it makes it very difficult to tell. Okay, so uh, Venezia needs activation, and Kona needs activation, Pescara needs activation, Bari needs activation. There's Bari, there's Bari, and uh, Toronto is going to need activation. So these are going to be what I call my um, attacking, or Get on my uh, defense port. So let's add it. Let's get a uh, group of air units decided for them. They're not gonna be full. Not gonna be full units. We're gonna get a group of six flying boats to start them out with. So here's what we'll do: is we'll have a uh, less advanced. Actually, no. We'll have a standardized group of this sort at every base, except for Venezia. Zara and Kona and Spilato will have an improved fighter group. Alright, so we will have a set of fighters, but it will only be eight. Uh, they will get a group of eight medium bombers, a group of eight dive bombers, and a group of eight torpedo bombers. This air group will be copied from Toronto. It'll be placed on Bari. Uh, and then it'll be placed on, pasted on Katero. Okay. And then it'll also be pasted on Pescara. I will then paste it on Ancona, but I will start expanding the group. So in this case, the number of fighters is going to be 12. And it's going to have two groups of them. And actually, the medium bomber group is going to be also increased to uh, 14. Actually, no, it'll be increased to 12, and then the uh, flying boat group will be brought up to eight. So that will be the uh, Encona squadron. Copy that. Uh, we'll place it on Venezia. We'll place it on Zara. And we will paste it on Spilato. And that's the uh, area around Austria-Hungary secured. With aircraft, I'm not going to need it would prob probably still be smart for me to have some uh, flying boats elsewhere in the Mediterranean. Um, but I'll pick locations carefully. Like, uh, Els Kabir probably would have some. Cagliari would probably have some. Um, maybe Safax, uh, Benghazi, Lindos, Lamosol, Alexandria. Then probably still want some at, like, Napoleon stuff. Alright, so we're losing money, but we have a lot of money, so I'm not super concerned. I'm not losing my prestige. Sorry, Germany. Okay, that did increase stuff. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, hold on. What the hell happens now? Because Austria and Russia have a treaty, and now we and Russia have... Or Austria and Russia have a treaty. We now have a treaty with Russia. What 
the hell is gonna happen? Alright, so, unfortunately, this is costing us a lot, so... I'm gonna halt the construction of, like, three ships. I should probably keep a carrier resumed. Um, but we're gonna get some ships back here soon, anyway. And some carriers back. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I did just lose money to uh, decrease tensions, but it didn't cost me any prestige points, so I'm fine with that. Uh, so I kind of want these guys reserved. Um, your Baldi should probably be reserved. And your Doria should probably be active. Oh god, a lot of stuff got old. A lot of stuff got old. Oh god. I have to refit all those. Okay, these guys have a lot of mass remaining. Would be nice to get something else on them. Some mines. Maybe an advanced director. For those uh, sub-hunting destroyers. Oh yeah, they probably have a lot of mass to them because, uh... What? They were built as, uh... They were built as sub-hunters. Yeah, that's a lot of old ships right there. I don't want to bother refitting them right now. So, a store is almost done. Uh, we're going to get Andrea Doria back here very soon. We're going to get another CL back. Or, completed. Hmm. Another missile cruiser. I will take it, but I will halt it. Is that a doubt? Unless you're hungry. Fine, it looks like we are going to get into an additional war. I do not want to exit out of the game. Alright. With uh, Austria, who uh, we forced all their subs to be scrapped. Go to medium spying. I, I can't afford to uh, get scouts up yet, unfortunately. But hey, we got a bunch of ships done, so that's good. And our mainline battleships are now rebuilt. We just have all these old ships we have to rebuild. The turbines are old now. Um, probably just do this. No! Do not exit out of the game! I don't know why my mouse is like... Here, let's select all your ships and then go up to the X button. Ten destroyers to finish the reconstruction. Excellent. Low spying? We're so close. We're so close to the end. Wow. Britain actually waned that. I'm not giving up my prestige. Okay, so in terms of flying boats, I think this one's just objectively better. Aircraft types. Request proposal. We got fighters, you got all that stuff. Hmm. What do I want? What's our oldest plane type? We got a flying boat, we got a mini bomber. Dive bomber, dive bomber. Which needs to be bomb load and probably toughness at this point. Given Sam's our thing. Alba will be done soon. So turbines should probably not be... Turbines should probably be mothballed. Given that they're not extremely vital. Martins should probably be kept in mainline service. The Martins should probably be given this air group. Except with uh, reduced... Group right there. Okay. 
So we have old ships now, including some of our uh, battleships. They would probably need refits before combat. France has one battlecruiser, four CVs. Not in the greatest of state. Oh, hey, yeah, we get more funding. Cool. It doesn't help us very much. But Elba's almost done, and good news is we are actually getting ships with Sam's. I'm gonna stop spying. I'm gonna stop spying, and I'm just gonna see if I can get us through with the current tensions. Allow it. I need the budget. Okay. It's June. New training applied. Oh. Ah, uh, handle it quietly and discreetly. We're not getting any, uh, anything from that. We agree to the proposal, and I will do it. We're going to get that carrier done soon enough anyway, so just halt them for a turn. Oh, nice. Austria-Hungary and France sign a treaty. I'll do it. Hey! Everyone's happy now. We can get through on this. Not risk raising tensions over such a trivial matter. November. And uh, dive bomber prototypes are ready. Range light. I will take it. And let's end the game. It's time. Finally time. Game is over, and the game now. There we go. That is the uh, Italian playthrough done with. So here is our prestige. You can see it is off the charts later on. So if we look at our wars, so we have an initial war with Austria-Hungary. I forget what happened there, but something happened there. We get this war with Austria-Hungary. I kind of remember forgetting what happened here. Oh yeah, this war, nothing happened. Uh, this war, I think we took Dalmatia. Fought France there. That's where they got a bunch of their toys. France and Britain here. So that was a pretty big war. Another war with France. Quick war with uh, Russia. And then we had this mess. That was horrifying. <coughs> that was a horrifying war, but we won it. Fleet tonnage. So um, the barely visible line here is America. But the rest of this is obviously visible. So we can see Britain being up here. We are this red line here. So this is where we scrapped a bunch of stuff. We we're kind of increasing it up. Maybe, no, that might be refits. That's probably refits. Goes up again. Because um, normally I scrap after war. And I'm not really seeing that trend. If we look at Austria-Hungary, you can see they just kind of drop here. And then Fran France looks like they're already disarming a little bit at this time, or maybe refitting, and it kind of goes back up, and then it's just like, nope, with the war. Well, we just kind of remain steady, and we keep increasing. All right, next war, war with Britain and France. So our fleet tonnage does go down a little bit. It kind of goes up at the end. France's fleet tonnage is just like, uh, nope, we'll die. Um, I forget what happened there. Oh, Britain. Britain's fleet tonnage is, hey, we're doing good. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Increased a little bit. Yeah. France over here it was another war. Oh, yeah. They, they just got destroyed. And we have a much larger navy at this point. Uh, Russia over here. So Russia is the pink line. They lost a little bit. We gained a little bit. And then... Let's actually just look at... Let's appreciate this. Let's just appreciate this. So, we start here. We gain a little bit at the start, and then we do start losing some. These are 
Um, we did lose a couple of battleships earlier on. We did lose a couple of carriers earlier on. That's these losses right here. On the other hand, Britain. <laughs> Just flat no... That, that's a complete nosedive. Ah, oh, that's great. They just, they nosedived. That's, that's great. And then they did increase a little bit at the end. And that, that's a refit period, but we didn't really scrap much. Economy. Look, look at our economy. Looks fairly typical. Hey, we were doing better than, um, what? Germany, France, Russia, and Austria-Hungary. We were in third. It's not bad. Summary of ships lost. I'm going to say we beat up Britain pretty badly. France did lose some ships too. We beat them up pretty hard too. But really, Britain. Britain. Man. F 24 battleships, 7 battlecruisers, uh, 5 heavy cruisers, 11 CVs, 3 CVLs. Um, CL wise, we did actually take some fairly heavy losses. But yeah. Holy shit, our destroyer losses. Oh my god. Our destroyer losses are bad, our corvettes. <laughs> it lost nearly 14,000 auxiliaries. Uh, three land targets, 88 subs. Uh, we lost more subs than Britain, although we cost Russia a lot of subs. So yeah, that was the game. Not not my not my greatest one. It's a lot better than Amarante. This game totally has no exploits. Where I exploited the game or wait no, yeah, Amarante. This game totally has no exploits. Where I exploited myself into having no money. Um. Then we had. Th this is. These are the same one. This just got repeated twice. I want to figure out how to remove it from the leaderboard, but I don't know how. Um, Admiral Screw the Battleships. That was a good one. Onemski. Fucked. Oh yeah, Corona name 117. That one went bad. Apparently... Oh, I only got 97 in the end. I must have had a prestige point decrease somewhere. So that was at 98. Oh well. We wound up below the. We wound up below that disastrous Japan game somehow. But I'll take it. Okay. That is, uh. That is the Italian campaign for Rule of Waves 2. Next time I. I will be uh, starting a new World Waves 2 campaign, hopefully sometime within the next week. And uh, hopefully I'll also be vaccinated by the time it starts. So, yeah, with that, um, that was fun. We had some actually decent wars with Britain. Normally my wars with Britain go absolutely horribly, but we actually were able to win some here. So, yeah. Uh, with that, thank you everyone for watching. If you want to join my Discord, a link to that is below. You can get notifications of the live streams there. If you want to check out my Twitter, it exists. You can find a notification for it below. Uh, if you're on Twitch, if you're on Twitch mobile, ask me right now before I uh, end the stream. Uh, if And you can also find a link to my YouTube channel, which is where I upload all these live streams after the fact. And you can watch the uh, previous episodes of the series. Uh, if you happen to be watching this on YouTube instead, then you can go to the description below and find the Discord link and the Twitter link, but a YouTube link would be completely redundant, so instead there is a link to my Twitch account, which is where I originally livestream all these, uh, like I'm doing at the moment uh, for me, but not at the moment for you, but at the moment for the people in Twitch chat who are hearing this. <coughs> so, uh, yeah, I guess I don't have much else to say, right? Bye. Ah, <sighs> <clears throat> oh, hell, that one for a little bit.
I don't know, I usually add something at the end, but I'm not I'm not feeling like it much today. There's a couple of rocket launches in the upcoming days I want to see. Um, Falcon 9 and uh, Starship. Hopefully. Hopefully those will go well. I don't know, I probably won't. I probably will not live stream on any day where there's a rocket launch, nor do I want my vaccine on a day where there's a rocket launch, unless, like, it's easily schedulable around it, because I like watching rocket launch live streams like that uh, Delta Four, which went off a couple days ago. I don't know. I don't know why I'm talking about this. This is just my normal end stream stuff. This one's gone on for a little too long. All right, bye!